January 25th, 2018, in the news yesterday and today, rumors of a secret society within the FBI. And the story is the Republican Senator Ron Johnson said there's a secret society, a small element within the FBI that has a mission of removing Trump from office. And what I'm going to show you is how this entire story is contrived to mock the truth of what's been going on in Washington, D.C. since the beginning of this nation. Washington, D.C. is entirely controlled by a secret society, not some tiny element. And this secret society does everything by ritual and these rituals are based in old world knowledge such as Kabbalah. Kabbalah comes from Babylon. It's encoded in the Bible. It's the belief that God created the world with language by merging the letter with the number. Letter and number when merged is known as gematria. This entire language is always synced up with the calendar. And if you learn the code behind English and how it relates to the Gregorian calendar, which much of the world's on, including the United States, you can see what's truly happening in Washington, D.C. on a daily basis. All news is contrived this way. Most news is meant to divert people from the truth, including this. You know, you hear news anchors today saying the conspiracy theory of a secret society in the FBI is completely bogus. <laughs> They, they like to associate the word conspiracy with theory and bogus and ridiculous and absurd. It's all meant to mock the truth, steer people away from the truth. So check this out. Notice how the media emphasizes words and phrases. Anytime they do this, there's gematria there. CNN, Milwaukee Journal, and I'm sure every single other source has emphasized this. NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, Fox News, Huffington Post, they'll all do it. They'll emphasize secret society. And here's what's behind those words. Secret society sums to 58. These are Fibonacci numbers, 5 and 8. They're numbers of God. This code is about God. Freemasonry, to be in it, you have to believe in God. Notice Freemasonry sums to 58, just like secret society. Freemasonry's secrets are in Solomon's temple, which sums to 58. Freemasons refer to themselves as craftsmen. You might have noticed that the method was full reduction for the first three terms we looked at, then reverse full reduction. Just in case you're new here, interrelated ciphers based on the alphabetic order forwards and backwards in a second we're going to get to the supreme court justice that took office shortly after trump did but i just want you to think about these words here judge and gavel notice their exact matches in all four base ciphers i'm going to talk more about these numbers but i just want you to understand these methods are all interrelated alphabetic order forwards and backwards rules of numerology basic addition if you know the alphabetic order and how to add, anyone can do this. Most first graders could probably do this. Very intuitive. But anyway, Freemasons refer to themselves as craftsmen. This entire, entire code's biblical. Biblical 58, the Torah 58, Tetragrammaton 58, and a whole lot more. Freemasonry has its roots. The modern Freemasons have their roots in the Rosicrucian order. Rosicrucian 58, that means Rose Cross. So it stands for the Rose is a symbol of secrecy. We're talking about secret societies. Also, Washington, which is named after a 33rd degree Scottish Rite Freemason. Freemasonry, a secret society. Washington 58, just like United States. Freemasonry has everything to do with the foundation of this nation. Francis Bacon, who was a Rosicrucian and a Freemason, just like King James, look up Francis Bacon in the colonization scheme. A lot of people give credit to the United States or the credit of the United States to Francis Bacon, who's from these secret societies. So understand, secret societies, so important. And this headline, which I've never seen one before, accusing of a secret society in the FBI, it comes during the time of Donald Trump, who won the 58th U.S. presidential election, 
who announced he was running from the 58-story Trump Tower. 58-story Trump Tower, where he announced from. For Inauguration Day, he hired 58-year-old Steve Ray. Covered this at the time of. Been covering this for a long time. Again, this was the 58th U.S. presidential inauguration that Donald Trump just won. You know, consider Trump's the 45th president, Mike Pence, his vice president, Mike Pence, 45 forwards and backwards in the reduction methods. The day Trump was announced as the winner of the election was the anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, 45. Think about it. Trump, Mr. Wall. Whole lot more to that story. Also, what was interesting is the inauguration day where he hired the 58-year-old Steve Ray, which was the 58th U.S. presidential inauguration. It fell on a date with numerology of 58, which I find fascinating. How far out was everything planned, you know? If you understand that these presidents are selected from a young age, you realize we're living in a nation that's been scripted. We're living out a planned agenda. So that's the 58 piece, okay? Secret society, Freemasonry, Washington, the history of this nation. There's a whole lot of things that sum to 58. We the people, 58. Don't tread on me, 58. In God we trust, 58. Also on the dollar bill, annuit coeptus, 58. And even more. A whole lot of things, 58, that have to do with the history of this nation. Special number, Nation established by a secret society. And now we're being mocked in the news. So why did they say within the FBI? Here's the next piece. The next piece. <laughs> Notice Wikipedia already has an entry for this. FBI secret society. You know, started with the January 24th news. FBI, Gematria of 17, using the alphabetic order and the reduction method. The reason that's so is because they're all single digit letters in FBI, 629, six plus two plus nine, 17. Modern Freemasonry began in 1717 in London, London, England. Notice Masons 17, Masons, Freemasons. England, by the way, has Gematria of 33, like Masonry, like secrecy, like order, like federal, Special number there. The word people equals 33. So does the word person, 33. Human beings have 33 vertebrae in the back. In D.C., the headquarters for Freemasonry is the House of the Temple. It has 33 pillars on the outside, each 33 feet tall. And the belief goes to the Kundalini, spiritual belief about spiritual ascension going up the 33 vertebrae at the back and enlightening the mind's eye which is the pineal gland, pineal 33, see? So anyway, this is why secret society within the FBI, it's all a riddle. Notice that on the Freemason logo, the big G with the instruments of geometry, the Freemasons are builders, you know, the square, the compass, making... Perfect lines, perfect edges, circles. Notice the compass is set at 47 degrees. 47. The 47th problem of Euclid is about how to establish foundation. It's important to Freemasonry. It's how to build a perfectly square foundation using the pole star, which is the north star. In Freemasonry, it's referred to as the pole star. Pole star 47. But that's 47th problem of Euclid. Notice the word governments 47, the word authority 47, the word foundation 47, White House 47, President 47, Caesar 47, Trump 47. He was in the 47-story Midtown Hilton Hotel the night of the rig selection. Ivanka Trump, his daughter equals 47. And I should have mentioned that Ivanka just alone equals 58. I still remember the day of the inauguration. The camera was on Ivanka so long. The Simpsons put out a cartoon not only about Trump being the president, which came true, but they have a cartoon about Ivanka T Trump running for president in 2028. That's the year she's going to be 47 years old. Simpsons makes all their cartoons by this code. Pretty much everything through the media is by this code. And, you know, just notice Ivanka Trump and Lisa Simpson from that cartoon, perfect match in all four ciphers. Lisa Simpson becomes the first female president. 
the word Agent 47. There's a video game out there called Hitman. The main character is Agent 47. <laughs> Where do you think they got the number from? DC 47. Land of Agents. Republican equals 47. Democrat 47. You know what else equals 47? What the Republican Party came from. The Whig Party 47. Here's what else I want you to see. The big G in the middle of the Freemason logo. In reduction gematria, Freemason equals 42. What Sumerian gematria is, is multiplying the alphabetic order times 6. So D is 4 times 6. D is 24. C is 3 times 6. 18. 24 plus 18, 42. G is the 7th letter. 7 times 6, 42. Out of all the states, only one's named after Washington. That's the 42nd state, Washington State. You see? 42. Another special number. Now for a bit more, further connecting the secret society, the numerical rituals with Washington, D.C. Trump's convention began July 18th, 18 slash 7, exactly a span of 187 days before Inauguration Day in Washington, D.C., and I talked about this before it even happened. I said, if Trump ends up being the president, you just remember this right here. The headquarters of Freemasonry, in D.C. is called the Ancient Accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, 187. George Washington, 187. Washington, D.C., 187. Society of Jesus is, are the Jesuits, 187. Trump's a Jesuit, so is the Pope. From Trump's birthday to the Pope's birthday is a span of 187 days. That's June 14th to December 17th. Also, on the 144th day of 2017, Trump's first year as president, May 24th, the 144th day of the year, Trump and the Jesuit Pope got together. Jesuit Order, 144. So, 187. Why does this number matter? It's because this entire code comes from the first five chapters of the Bible. Not chapters, excuse me. First five books of the Bible, which are the Torah, which are 187 chapters total. 187 chapters. And the Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, they're all based out of it. And think about how important religion is to the presidency. Abrahamic 187. They say the only president that might not have been a Christian was Abraham Lincoln. Trump also had his convention in Ohio. Ohio has the gematria of 47, same as time and ordinal. The tropics that measure the solstices of this earth in the northern and southern hemisphere, they're 47 degrees apart. Tropic in the north's at 23.5 degrees north. Tropic in the south at 23.5 degrees south. 47 degree difference. Just like the Freemason compass. In satanic gematria, time in Ohio boasts them to 187. You know, 187 days from his inauguration to when his convention began. This satanic gematria, not to scare you away, what's really fascinating about it is if you write out satanic gematria, it sums to 666. And what satanic gematria is, is the alphabetic order, but making A 36, then B is 37, and just counting up to Z, which is 61. But with regards to A being 36, 666 is the 36th triangular number, meaning if you add 1 through 36 together, it sums to 666. 36, three sixes. Also interesting, Satanic Gematria, DC, sums to 77. And so does Secret Society. And so does United States. And if you write out September 11th, it sums to 77. And if you write out World Trade Center, it sums to 77. And again, DC on the 77th meridian on September 11th, flight 77, hit the Pentagon exactly 77 minutes after taking off. And for years, Wikipedia has listed the Pentagon as being 77 feet tall. And for years, I mean like more than 10 years. Sometime in the last month, they've changed the Pentagon to being 71 feet tall on Wikipedia. And... Uh, there's elsewhere it's written that the Pentagon is 77 feet tall, but I think it is interesting that Wikipedia changed their entry. This is something we've been talking about and exposing. 
The ritual was 77 in September 11th in Flight 77, hitting the Pentagon 77 minutes after taking off. And in light of a secret society running this nation that mocks people. Show you something here. September 11th. It's the day that we remember the destruction of the two towers. And I want you to see that Solomon's Temple is 58. So is Herod's Temple. These are the two temples from the Old Testament. And if you write out twin towers and use the S exception, S is the 19th letter, 1 plus 9 is 10, 1 plus 0 is 1. It's the only letter you have to add together twice to get to a single digit. So S can be 10 or 1. When you make S10, twin towers is 58. And what's really interesting is Tisha B'Av is the Jewish holiday to remember the destruction of the two temples. Tisha B'Av sums to 911. You know, the two temples, the two towers. You see, the World Trade Center has existed for 33 years, 68 to 2001. In 1968, 911 was made the National Emergency Dialing Code. World Trade Center construction began. George W. Bush graduated from Yale and Skull and Bones. You know? All 33 years before 2001. Space Odyssey 2001 came out that year. You know? Understand, all of these things are planned rituals. If you write out 77 as a word, in light of DC being on the 77th meridian, it sums to 49. 77 equals 49. America, 49. Washington, 40, 49. United States, 77. See how nicely it goes together? Now, as for the senator who created this buzz, it's blamed on him for suggesting that there's a secret society within the FBI. His birthday is April 8th, and he's 62 right now. And if you've been following my work on Minneapolis and 62 in the Super Bowl, I mean, this probably also factors in. But look at this. From the day the news broke, January 24th, to his upcoming birthday was 74 days. 74, why does that matter? Masonic equals 74. So does George Washington. Another special number we talk about, the reflection of 47. His name's Ron Johnson. Ron Johnson, 47. Ron, also 47. The day the news broke, this January 24th, 18. 1 plus 24 plus 18 is 43. D, C, D's the fourth letter, C's the third, 4-3. Masonic also 43. As for him being 62, Mason 62. March 3rd, 3-3 three, three is the 62nd day of the year, leaving 303 days remaining. The word Freemason in Hebrew and in English sums to 48. And just to show you something here, a nice thing about Google is Google Translate, as evil as this company is. If you type English to Hebrew, it'll pull up the translator. And if you type in the English side, Freemason, it'll give you the Hebrew word. And on Derek's calculator, he has Hebrew ciphers. You just got to click the boxes. If you put in a Hebrew word here, it'll recognize them. And notice in Hebrew ordinal, Freemason 48. You know? There's actually a lot of overlap with English and Hebrew in many different ways. You know, you get on here and experiment, you'll be blown away. Type in Kabbalah in English and in Hebrew and check. You'll see it's 38 in both. Consider DC, this Masonic headquarters, based on the 38th parallel. His birthday, though, April 8th, can be written 4 slash 8 or 8 slash 4. 4 slash 8 is like 48. 8 slash 4 like 84. Masonry 84. Jesuit 84. And really, I, sh I should show you more than that. 84 is just so major with the Jesuits. The Jesuit Order 84. You know. The Catholic Church. The Jesuits are within the Catholic Church 84. You know. The man who established the Jesuits in history died 84 days from his birthday. One of the many things I cover in the book. Showing you how relevant this code is and how long it's been going on. A lot longer than the United States.
and it shows you that they built the English language based on this prior numerical understanding. Notice the word states, 84, like colony, also United States of America. They say Lord Bacon, 84, responsible for the colonization scheme. If you write out United States, it sums to 40. And if you spell 40 the nonsensical way we do with no U, it sums to 84. I mean, to me, that's just like definitive proof that our whole language is based on gematria. Four spelled with a U, the number kind. 14 spelled with a U, but not 40. It's because of this right here. <clears throat> 40 is a special number from the Bible. Think about all the 40 just off the top of your head. Keep in mind, Old Testament's 40, where the Torah is. Whole thing's biblical. And again, the reason I've always known this language is relevant is because it's not just the numbers in the words, it's the fact that these numbers are used in other places, such as Trump announcing, you know, he's running for the 58th presidential election from the 58-story Trump Tower. He's hiring 58-year-old Steve Ray and down on the line, you know, he's in the 47-story Midtown Hilton Hotel the night of the rig selection. But after this long, drawn-out thing, almost having us, or it was, I guess, because Anthony Scalia died February 13th, 2016, the 44th day of the year, Lupercalia. Lupercalia equals 44, so does Kill, so does Ranch, Down on the Ranch. You see, I, I could sit here and tell you guys things all day. You remember the story about how Scalia was found with a pillow over his head? And they were saying, oh, did somebody kill him? Pillow equals 87. Justice, 87. Antonin, his first name, 87. He died on the 44th day of the year, February 13th. Lupercalia, 44. Kill 44, dead on a ranch 44. Anyway, it's all scripted narrative. From the day he died, you had to wait until April 7th until they confirmed the new Supreme Court Justice, 4 slash 7, a judge. Look at this. Judge. Perfect matches in all four base ciphers. Notice judge has gematria of 88. So does the Republican Party, Masonic Ritual, George Washington, Trump. They're all 88. Look at his name, his full name, Neil McGill Gorsuch, 88. Notice Neil Gorsuch alone, 58. Notice his full name using the alphabetic order, 187. You know, anyone who would think this stuff's coincidence, as, you know, so many people contend, I think if this truly is the litmus test to find out who really is insane in this society. I think anybody who looks at a presentation like this, looks at all this information, and, and can just go, you can go all throughout history, you guys. I mean, this stuff's been going on since the beginning. You, you can verify this stuff a million times over, literally. You know, there's a million examples of this to be proven. Because Freemasonry is a hu hu huge network. They've been doing this for centuries, every single day generating all sorts of very repetitive patterns, you know? And to deny it is just to deny the truth. You know? This really isn't that complicated of a system. It's amazing that people work by it and have been doing it for so long, but it's spelling, it's addition. And again, the whole point of doing this is to steer people away from the truth in a mocking fashion, in a ritualistic code. These news stories making fun of conspiracy theory and the possibility of secret societies having any influence on politics. The whole thing is a conspiracy, <laughs> again, controlled by a massive secret society. And I'm amazed by how many people write in my comments, I don't understand how people could keep this a secret. <laughs> I'm exposing a secret society. You don't understand how they can keep secrets, huh? And for anybody who wants to know about Stormy Daniels, I'll, I'll link this post down below too. It's more of the same. Until next time.